Welcome back, back to Bill and the Boys. It's time for our weekly catch-up. There was no weekly catch-up last week, and the reason for that is with the Ask Me Anything, and I thought one Scott talking at the camera for half an hour video is more than enough for a week, so <laughs> we wouldn't do a second one. So, eh, uh, we didn't miss much. There wasn't a lot going on last week, in all fairness. Um, but this week's been an interesting one. Um, so, before we get really into it, I've got to address something. Um... And you would have heard me say before that I'm a very different person in my professional life as to what I am on here. Um, well, I'm putting work Scott head on at the moment. So you're about to meet work Scott. Um, and it is, <laughs> it's all due to, funnily enough, the Infinity Gauntlet, a free gift and fan home. Now, um, a lot of people received a free gift this week from fan home uh, with their latest pack this week, last week. Um, of a nano gauntlet um, from uh, Endgame, the Iron Man version. It's a small version of it now. This was offered as an early bird offer. So it was, if you're an early bird subscriber, you got this free gift. Um, and a bunch of people didn't get it. I'm one of them. Now, I subscribed to the Infinity Gauntlet in the first hour it went live. Mine never turned up. Mine was in the package, so... So that's a bit weird. Um, but I know other people that did get theirs. And I thought, well, what's happened? So I contacted them and they said, um, we're out of stock. And I was like, oh, okay. So how come other people got theirs and I didn't? They said, well, because we're out of stock. And I'm like, yeah, I, I get that. But I said, all, all I kind of want is an explanation as to why are they on a list that get it and I'm on a list that don't get it. I'm like, surely you send that to everyone. You've got enough stock, we don't send it at all. Um, and they said, we're out of stock. And I thought, well, okay, well, <laughs> this sounds a little bit robotic at this point. And I said, I, I, you know, I get that. I said, but when will it be back in stock? When will I get mine? And um, they said, if you're entitled to it, you'll get it. And then cut me off. And I thought, wow, that's in incredibly rude. Um, so I contacted them again. And they said, hey, can we help you? And I said, um... Uh, one of your stash has been quite rude to me. Uh, I said, I, I just wanted an answer. I said, they just cut me off. I wasn't rude to them. Um, and I said, I, I just wanted an answer. And they said, okay, let me look into it. And they came back and they said, unfortunately, you don't qualify for the early bird offer. And I said, how is that possible? And so I said, well, I had subscribed the first hour. I said, so how is that possible? And they were able to tell me that I subscribed on, I believe it was the, the 12th of February, which is the day it went, the pre-orders went live. Um, and they then said, but the early bird offer was only available to people from the, uh, I want to say it was the 22nd of March to the 22nd of April. I'm like, how does that work? And I said, so I subscribed six weeks before anyone in that category, but that doesn't class as early bird. And they went, no. I went, okay, well, I need to draw your attention to something as well. And I said, I've got this. I've got a screenshot, funny enough, I'd like to show you, and it was this screenshot. Now, what you can see from that screenshot is that it states in big orange font, subscribe today and receive this free gift. Subscribe today and receive this free gift. And you'll see underneath that, there is the pre-order button, right? So that was the day that it went live. And it states quite clearly, subscribe today, receive this free gift. Right. So everybody that did, that did pre-order, should receive that free gift. Now, I believe what's actually happened here is a problem with uh, probably a computer ordering system. That they've set it up so early bird is in this thing, but didn't realise that and an error's happened. That would be fine. I'd be like, okay with that. So if it was an error, no harm, no foul. You think, okay, it happens. There's been an error. We're going to rectify it. Instead, they've doubled down, and not just with me, with others as well, where they've basically told them, you're not getting it, or you're not entitled to it, or you didn't subscribe, or we're out of stock, and they've told all kinds of things. No one's received theirs yet, was what I was told. Well, no one's received one. I'm like, well, World of Wayne definitely has, um, to which they told me that he gets different terms and conditions. I was like, okay. Um, and then I said, well, I know other friends that have, that aren't sponsored by you, so how have they got it? And they said, well, no, they haven't. I said, well, no, they have because I've seen it. Um, and it's this, it's it's accusing me of lying or fabricating something. And 
while repeatedly lying to me. Now, what frustrates me about this is I have championed Fan Home since their inception, and I never really had a problem with them. I did uh, Iron Man through them, I did R2-D2 through them, I'm doing the Gauntlet through them, and I, I finished Ecto-1 through them, and I never had a problem. I always thought the service was good, and funnily enough, this, uh, this Sunday just passed, they won a customer service award, which is kind of ironic now. Um, and even then, I championed them. I said, yeah, no, absolutely, it's deserved. Um, and then this has happened this week, um, which is kind of shocking, because my experience of them has been has been positive up until now. Um, and now they've been rude, dismissive, and they've made some quite nasty kind of... Um, comments towards um, not just me, others as well that haven't received this where they've basically been told, no, you're wrong. Sorry, you're wrong. And even though we're showing them, well, no, we're not. You you said that this is what you're going to get and now you won't. Now, this has bothered me for two reasons. One, um, I'm not particularly bothered about the gift, right? So the, the gift is not something personally, I don't care. Um, the kid wants it. I'm not that bothered. Um, but if you're a company and you say you're going to do something, well, you better do it. Because if people have entered into a contract with you based on what your promises were, well, you better make good on those promises. And this is work, Scott, right? So if a company is saying, this is what we're going to do, I expect you to do it. And the other reason why this pisses me off is because I have championed them to you. So when the um, the gauntlet went live, I told you, you'll get this when you pre-order. You'll get this if you pay by PayPal. You get these free gifts. So I've told you all of that. If, if any of those made even one of you go, oh, if I subscribe now, I'll get that, and you don't get it. By no fault of my own, they've made me a liar. And the one thing, the one thing that I've got is my integrity, and I don't let anyone compromise that. So this might seem a little extreme to you, but this is the way it is. Until Fan Home make this right, I won't be building any Fan Home models at all. Um, they won't be on the channel. I won't be promoting anything they do. Nothing. So if they launch a new model, I won't be mentioning it. It won't happen on my channel at all. Now, I'm going to finish the gauntlet because the kid wants the gauntlet, but I won't be making videos of it and I won't be posting it to them. I will not be pointing people towards their site because this, at best, is false advertising. At worst, is sleazy, scummy, underhand and poor business practice. So I can, in good faith, tell all of you, go get one of these because what would be the next thing they're going to do? Now, as I said, if at some point they say, this is an error. We're sorry. We'll make it right. Cool. No harm, no foul. You've accepted the mistakes happened and you've rectified it. Fantastic. That's great news. But at this point, they've done nothing to indicate that's what they're going to do. They've basically just said, tough. Um, and that doesn't sit with me. Now, I've, I've had people say, aren't you worried? No, I'm not even slightly worried. Um, I couldn't care less if Fan Home want to sponsor my channel. I don't care. If they want to, brilliant. If they don't want to, I don't care. I'm not sponsored by any model company, right? So that's that's page one that I want you to know. If you didn't know that already, I don't have any kind of affiliation with Agora, Hachette, Fan Home, IXO, nobody. All the models that I build on my channel, I buy, all of them. With the exception of a couple of things I've done for Fun Hole and one model I've done for Roker, nothing. I stick to all of the rules of YouTube. So whenever you see something that has been sent to me, you'll see paid promotion appear up in this corner. So you know full well, I've been sent it now. It says paid promotion. I've not been paid anything. I've just been sent it. There's no money incentive there. But paid promotion is what YouTube insists you do. So if you are being sponsored by somebody, paid promotion should appear in the top left-hand corner. If it doesn't, you're going against the YouTube rules. So you can see full well, you'll know. If I'm doing something that's been sent to me, paid promotion will appear in this corner. If it doesn't, then I wasn't sent it. Um, so would this affect any chance I ever have a fan home sponsoring something? Yeah, probably. Probably, yeah, but I don't care. Because it will affect that. Will it affect my viewers? Um, the number of views I get? Absolutely. So views, it, it of course, is going to hurt it because I'm putting less content on because I won't be putting fan home content on. Um, will it affect my subscribers? I hope not. I hope not, but it could. But what the thing it definitely will not affect is my integrity because that's all I've got. If I tell you something's good... It's good. If I tell you something's bad, it's bad. And if I tell you a company is going to make good on a gift, well, they better make good on that goddamn gift. Otherwise, I'm not, I can't in good faith point you towards a company. I know I've just done that because what will they do next? It's the way it is. 
ironically, like I said, they won a lot of awards um, over the weekend for how good their service is. I'm like, wow, it takes a long time to build a, a reputation and minutes to destroy it. But that's the way they are. And again, this isn't this isn't me throwing my toys at the problem. I couldn't give a damn about the gift. What I care about is the fact that I've told all of you, if you pre-order, you'll get this. Because that is what they said they would do. And the, the screenshots, this screenshot... proves exactly that if they make as i said if they make good on it yeah no harm no foul i'll go right back to our words if they but when i say make good i mean make good and that isn't send the guy on youtube a, a gloves for a shut up i mean everybody every single person that pre-ordered deserves what they said they were going to get i don't care what glitch they've made so quite simply fan home if you watch it which you're probably not but if you are do better it's that simple. Do better. I expect you to make good on what you said you were going to do. And that's the end of work, Scott. So that's the way it is. So now I'm back to back to normal me. Um, I it's the way it is. So I I, I I've got integrity and nothing else. That's what I've, that's what I've got. That's 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 the way it is. That's all I've got. And I can't I can't break that because oh they might send me a model. I just I don't I don't care. I buy my models. I work very hard. I earn my money. I buy everything. Um. So it's if I don't care if it jeopardizes that I don't care. I didn't I didn't start doing this to get sent free shit. I didn't. So it is what it is, you know. Um, I got I, if you stand for nothing, you will fall for anything, you know. So that's that's the way it is. Um, but on a lighter note, right? So um, <laughs> other model news. Uh, there's been some interesting things at the moment. So I get asked quite a lot: um, Is this any good? Or is, have you ever built one of these? Or have you ever done this? And it, all kinds of wacky stuff. And it'll be from companies I've never heard of. And a lot of these things come from companies I'm like, I don't know about that. And we're always a little bit, mm, I don't know. And it, it's, there's a lot of it. I see it with book nooks. You ever built one of these and there's some weird company I've never heard of. I'm like, no, I haven't. I don't trust that. Um, and then there are knockoffs that we blatantly know are knockoffs. Um, and it's always, is this any good? Is this any I don't know. I don't know. So, a new feature is going to be coming on the channel called It Came From The Internet, um, where I'm, I'm going to build some of these things. I would imagine a lot of these are going to be garbage, but you never know. We might find an absolute gem. You see those things, and I'm, I'm going to dig for things on Timu and Wish and AliExpress, and I'm, I'm just going to find these things, and let's find out, are they any good or not? So... There's nothing worse. I go looking, thinking, has anyone else built this? And I can't find it. Like, there's certain book notes I'd like to see, but I can't find a single person that's built one. And I'm like, well, then someone's got to be the Yuri Gagarin of these models. Someone's got to be the first man in. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I think it's going to be fun. So I have actually got the first three have turned up. So I've had three turn up. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm not going to tell you what they are. Uh, we're doing this mystery build. So... For the first three or four days that they're up, they'll just be called Mystery Build 1, Mystery Build 2, Mystery Build 3, whatever they are. And then after those few days, we'll put what the name actually is in the description. So anybody that's looking later on can find out. But for the fun of kind of, ooh, I wonder what it is, uh, we're going to build it and see if you can figure out what it is as I'm building it. Similar to what we did with, if you saw when we built the... Um, this is a good example, actually. I completely forgot about this one. So this is a good example of what I'm talking about. So we built the uh, the Trotters van for Money Fools and Horses. Now this isn't Lego. I don't know what brand this is, um, but it built lovely. It went together really nice. Um, and this came from I want to say it was Wish, um, and it cost it was like eight quid, right? Now Lego are never going to produce one of these vans. They don't. You can't get one from Lego. So they've not knocked Lego off. They've basically just took some bricks and made their own version of it. And I was really happy with it. But for the longest time, I was like, I bet the bricks won't go together. I bet the wheels won't turn. And completely wrong. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's lovely. I like it. It works. It's great. That's a good example of what I'm talking about. So there are wooden models. There are metal models. There are all kinds of things like that. And you're thinking, I don't know. But I get a lot of messages. Have you heard of this company? Are they any good? I'm like, I don't know. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? So we have got the first three. Now I can tell you the first, there, there are two brick models, which I thought were fascinating. Sorry, we got the first four. There are, there are three brick models, which I thought, okay. Now these are things, two of them, yeah, two of them, Lego are never going to do, right? They're, they're never going to have the license to do these. It's something they wouldn't touch with, with a hundred foot pole. So 
there's never going to be a Lego version of this. So I'm quite comfortable doing it. The third one is something that they could, but I don't think they would. Um, so that's going to be interesting. And then we have a wooden model as well. Now, these were really cheap. So seriously cheap. So of these four models, I think I've paid a sum total of about 26 quid for four models. So I'm thinking... So the bar set really low, <laughs> but we'll find out. Then that way you'll know. So if you're thinking, I've seen that and I wanted to, well, now you'll know. So it's it's just a fun way of doing it, I think. Other model news, and this isn't something you, well, it is something you could build yourself. I saw something that I found absolutely intriguing. It fits in nicely to that van. Um, I saw a news article today about a guy that um, bought uh, a load of double O models of houses and things like that at a car boot sale and decided he wanted to do something with them um and he turned them into peckham so he has made a scale model of only fools and horses peckham and he's managed to reference something from every episode of only fools and horses so every single episode of only fools and horses he's put an easter egg in there from every single episode the boy did good. Check this out. It, it looks, his work is fantastic. It looks really good. And see if you can spot any of the Easter eggs. It's going to look small on your screen, but there are some that you can see. What a wonderful thing. Now, he, he thinks that he spent about 1,200 quid in total making that, including the kind of table and whatnot that it goes in. When you think about how much part work costs, they did that as a part work. I'd, I'd be first in line, depending on what company it came from, obviously. Um, but I'd, um, I'd be all over that. I think that's fantastic. And wow, what a, what a hell of a thing. Looks great. Looks absolutely amazing. But you can see there's an escape rhinoceros in there. Now, if you know you're only fools and horses, you know that's an episode uh, reference. He, they also did the um, the glow-in-the-dark headstone in the church. There's loads. The more you look around it, the more you see. Um, it's clever. There's a little store in there called Rock and Chips. You can see Sotheby's is there where they sell the watch. And the, everywhere you look, there's something else. And I, I just think it's genius. And the, the Jolly Boys out in coach is there. It's genius. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Something else I saw as well that just made me laugh my ass off. It's pop culture and it fits in. Um, cinema take-ins are, are low, right? So cinema attendance is at an all-time low at the moment. Getting people to go to the cinema has been hard since the pandemic. People just kind of fell out of love with it, got comfortable watching things on Netflix and streaming and whatnot, and now don't want to go to the cinema. They don't want to be around other people. So getting people into cinemas is not the easiest thing. So they are doing different little promotions and whatnot to get people off their asses and into the, into the seats at the cinema. And one of them they've done that's become quite popular is popcorn buckets, so themed popcorn buckets to movies have become a thing. So I think one of the first ones I saw was when they, they released Ghostbusters Afterlife. You could get a popcorn bucket that looked like Ecto-1 and it had the lights and everything, which must have drove people mad if you were sitting behind somebody with blue flashing lights on a popcorn bucket. But popcorn buckets were the thing. Now, I saw one this week that absolutely blew my mind in the worst possible way I thought. Right, again, with what I do for a living, I looked at this and thought, how has that got through? When you bring a new product to market, it goes through so many stages of design. And there are a lot of people that have a hand in it that at any point go, yeah, I've got a concern or I've got a question or will people maybe? But it appears not one person saw what I think the rest of the planet are seeing when they see this. So this is funny. This is the popcorn bucket for Dune 2. So Dune 2 is about to be released. This is the limited edition popcorn bucket. Now I'll show you the first view of it. And you're thinking, okay, this is this, 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 the sandworm. This is, this is the side view of the popcorn bucket. So pretty cool. You're like, oh yeah, there's the sandworm and I can see Dune and that's, that's like, so what's your problem, Scott? Well, the top of it is my problem. Um, <laughs> how did this get made? How is this a thing? But look at this. <laughs> That's a thing. So I, how? When prototypes turned up, how did somebody go, yeah, um, do we really think this is the 
what we're going for here? Because it looks it looks like someone else. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, well, it, uh, I mean, you know, if I could, I'd, I'd do this. Unbelievable. Um, I want one. Right? So it's like, I swear to God, I can see that getting pulled from shelves and be like, yeah, do no, we get rid of that? So I, w I want a terrible, terrible, terrible popcorn bucket. Purely, sort of people go, do you remember that popcorn bucket? Go, I've got one. So if I see that anywhere, I swear to God I'm buying one because that is Christ awful. How did that happen? Now, I've worked in places before where we had products pulled and one of them, I wish to God I had and I didn't, was we had a silver surfer um and he levitated and it was amazing but we found out the paint was toxic and it chipped so it was immediately pulled and they were all destroyed except for it's about 20 that went out to certain stores and i'm like mm -hmm. i was that close to having that that must be worth a bloody fortune now we also had uh it was web shooters this is the same set of toys as well and what it was was it was a, a wrist bracelet and you could flick it and the thing would come out but it was like it was almost like um tracing paper but like in a really tight wrap and they lasted about three days before kids started getting eye injuries and um, they all got pulled but i've still got a handful of those but if i see that doom bucket i could just see that they're gonna go we we can't release this so if you see one get one because it'll probably be worth money one day to a collector and be like where's the christ awful bucket where's the god awful bucket and um yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm like, that's so bad. It's it's great. Um, what have we been up to? So we've been up to um, a lot. So we built, uh, since we last spoke, what have we built? We built Titanic since we last spoke. Um, we also built the uh, the fun hole um, medieval watchtower. That is beautiful. That's a really, really nice model. It's my favorite. Of all the ones they've done, it's really nice. Um we also built Disney Dolls House, so I am ploughing through Disney Dolls House, which I fell massively behind over Christmas. So I'm getting those. So after this one, there's a very strong chance another Disney Dolls House is, is going up, time permitting with Edston and whatnot. Um, but it's it's we've got a lot coming. So there is there's like bloody hell. I think like twelve Disney Dolls House are going up over the next week. Um, I do have loads more to do. I've got so much more to do. Um, I do want to do. I've still got. Um, Ken's Christmas gift down here, the um, the Haunted Mansion diorama. I want to do that, so that's going to get done this week, hopefully. I've got the Spitfire that Penny over at Penny's Pit Stop sent me, and I, I really want to get that one done. Speaking of which, even though I am pretty much boycotting those who no longer we've mentioned, if you, if you do want gauntlet videos, Penny is building it. So go over and visit my friend Penny. She's building the gauntlet. You can see her building it. I just won't be doing it on my channel anymore. Um... But we've got loads coming, so we should be receiving, I believe we're receiving in Tumblr this week. Uh, and that's going to be interesting. So Tumblr, we're building the, the back end of the vehicle. So we are doing, we're doing some steering column. We are doing the um, the jet booster. We're also doing the tail. Now, don't get excited when you hear tail. That's not the back end of the car. Um, it's what well, it is. It's it's the piece that holds the um the jet boosters will be doing that. And then whatever the next three are, they've not released those on the site yet, so we don't know what the three after that are, but we'll have six of those coming up. Um, Titanic will be coming probably the week after. And that one as well is intriguing because... I've got my ship over here. We're not, um, we're not working on the ship. We're working on the stand. Um, so the next... The next six are all working on the, the stand and the display base. So inside that stand... Um, our speakers, uh, there's a headphone jack, which I would imagine is a speaker jack. Um, and it looks as if all the power for that thing is even going to sit in the base, which is going to be a bloody nightmare because I hope it isn't. Unless there's a drawer that you can pull out and put batteries in, I really hope we don't have to. That's going to be a nightmare. But it looks like the ship's not going to sit on that base. It looks like the ship is going to screw to that base. So once it's on, it's on. Um, so we, we do that, we build the stands, and then we we start making the base for it, and we've got a nameplate coming. So it's going to be odd. So the next six, we're not actually touching any of the ship we've built so far. We are just building the, the, the stand and the holder for it, because we are getting to that point now with Titanic, where it's time to start putting it all together. Um, so I think this is just the final kind of hurrah before we do that, because I would imagine if we're screwing this to the base, we're going to have to screw the hole to the base first before we start putting decks on it, otherwise you'll never get to it to do it. 
Does that make sense? Um, so that's uh, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be. I'm looking forward to that one a lot. Um, what else have we got? We've got uh, oh the Lancaster as well. So Lancaster is due to ship this Friday. So it looks like Lancaster and Titanic are going to land on the same weekend when they come up, which is going to be a little awkward, but it's all right. I'll work away around it. It won't be a problem. But that's going to be fun as well. So I, yeah, I don't know what's coming. I know in the next two that we're doing um, cockpit and fuselage, um, canopy roof and things like that. But I don't know what else is coming after that. So I don't know what the two after that are. Not a clue. Um, I've seen they're still in stores because I saw issue five in a store today. Um, so it's still in stores at the moment. But um, I don't know. Beyond that, I, I don't know what um, I don't know what we're doing. I don't. So it's exciting, right? Um, Hashet have been really slow updating their site of recent, like really slow. Normally, you know, like what the next eight are, but they've been mad slow. I don't know why, but they they just have been. Um, but we'll see. Uh, the other thing I want to say, and I've got to say a big thank you to everybody, uh, was it was the Partwork Awards this sat this Sunday just passed, um, and we were nominated for um, best YouTuber, which is quite humbling. Thank you very much. I mean, we're not going to win. And it was like my, my kid said as well when he came and said, oh, it's like we're Rocky. I'm like, I don't think it is like we're Rocky because Rocky wins. I said, I think we're more like Apollo when he fought Drago. I think it's what happens here. And the, the guy's screaming, stop the fight. I think, that, I think that's what we are. I think we're Apollo having the ever-living crap beaten out of us, beaten to death by Drago, I think is where we are. We don't stand a chance, but thank you. Uh, because if you took the time to do that, it's appreciated. It really is. It, it's very humbling. Um, and it's it's very kind of you. I don't need awards, um, but it's very nice for you to um, for for you to nominate me. It's very kind of you. It really is. Um, we'll get them next year. <laughs> we won't. But hey, we'll get them next year. We won't. But we'll try, right? But we won't. But we'll try. <laughs> But thank you. It's a fun evening as well. So you can go and see the video. You can go and see the video on the Nexus channel of the uh, the Parkwork Awards, and you can see. I won't spoil it for you. Um, but you can see what won worst model, what won best model. Um, those who we don't mention won a whole, they're like a clean sweep for them. Um, they, they won a load of awards kind of undeservedly now. <laughs> so it's like, uh, yeah. Um, but I mean, you'll see me even on there. You'll, you'll see me commenting and what fantastic customer services. Yeah, not, not anymore. <laughs> so it's, uh, that's over there. Um, but yeah, go check it out. It's fun. It's a fun evening. And, um, yeah, I, I hope you were able to swing by. And again, if you did vote for us, thank you so much. Thank you. Because it was, it was very kind of you. It wasn't, we genuinely didn't expect to get nominated. We didn't. Um, we are little fish, uh, in a very big pond. That's what we are. I, I know what we are. And I'm, I'm happy with where we are. Speaking of which, I think we're only like, I don't know, about six or seven subs away from being 3000 subscribers. Which is ridiculous. It's huge. And again, thank you so much for everyone that tunes in, everyone that messages, all the, the nice comments that we get, everybody that, everything. It's it's very much appreciated, really, is, and very humbling. And um, we love your support, and thank you very much for it. Um, we will have loads coming up of different things. As I said, we will have the mystery models on. Um, you'll like them as well. So the mystery models, I promise you, You'll like them. If you like this stuff, if you like pop culture, particularly 80s pop culture, you're going to like what we've got coming up in the mystery models. And we'll find out if they're any good. And if they are good, I'll say to you, go get one. You can get one for like eight quid. It's amazing. Um, and if they're terrible, I'll go, don't waste your money on this, for Christ's sake. <laughs> so it's worth checking out regardless. They're going to be fantastic or a train wreck. I don't think it'd be any in between. There's one in particular, the wooden model itself, I'm thinking... I can't see that working. It's a practical wooden model. It's a wooden model. If it works, it will live on my desk because it's very practical for what I do. That's all. I we'll give you some clues. So the wooden model, there you go. That's it. It's practical. It'll live on my desk and it's something I can use with a lot of the builds if it works. Um, so that's the first one. The second one is of a movie character that has the world's most unjustified reputation as being a badass. They got this reputation of being this monstrous, scary character, completely undeserved. I'll explain about why I think it's undeserved when we build that one. Um, I've got another one that's going to be interested if we can see come alive. And I've got one that um, has a controversial name. 
that isn't controversial in the slightest. But that's, so we've, those are the four. If you can figure out what any of those are from what I've just said, I'll be very bloody impressed. If you can, stick it in the comments down below. And if you're right, you'll win, um, what will you win? You'll win, I'm gonna find your prize. If you can, if anybody can guess what any of those models are from what I've just said, you are gonna win something from my desk of garbage. Um, and it's going to be, I'll find something. I'll find something. There's something here. I know there is. You will win a Batman bottle opener. This will be yours. So if you can correctly guess what one of those four models is, and it has to be correct, you can't just scatter shot, you get one shot as well, um, you'll get this. I will send this to you. You really want this, don't you? Um but I know you ain't going to win. Uh, that's all from me. If you want to contact us, you can contact us at buildingtheboysoutlet.com. Um, please don't offer me nano gauntlets. So I know that's about to happen. I don't want your nano gauntlet. It's not about the nano gauntlet. It's about the principle of the matter. And it's about me promoting a company that have not made good on their promise. I don't want a nano gauntlet. They're going to send me one. They just don't know it yet. Um, in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. Um, and I will see you very, very soon for more from Bill and the Boys, possibly later on tonight with Dizzy Doll's House. Take care, and I will see you soon.